Hello, this video is going to look at population growth inside the solo growth model. Here's our production function, and then our per worker production function is given as follows. Lowercase y is output per worker, and lowercase k is the capital labor ratio, or capital per worker. In this economy, the depreciation rate is 0.1, the saving rate is 0.2, and the population grows at 0 0.02. What is a steady state level of capital per worker? For the capital labor ratio to remain constant, which is a requirement of the steady state equilibrium, the level of investment must equal depreciation plus the dilution of capital from population growth. Break-even investment just recognizes this fact that for the capital labor ratio to remain constant, investment has to cover the depreciation cost, D times K, plus account for a growing number of workers in the population. So again, DK is the depreciation of existing capital, just the depreciation rate times the capital stock, and NK is the amount of investment to compensate for new workers. Dilution of capital. As the population increases, there's less capital per worker, all else equal. So we could look at it this way. So here's the capital labor ratio. And capital at 200, labor force at 100, the capital labor ratio is 2. If L increases by 2%, capital needs to increase by 2% to hold the capital labor ratio constant at 2. So we'll increase 100 here, uh, the labor force by 2%. And in order for the capital labor ratio to remain constant, capital needs to increase also by 2%. So in this case, n times k is just going to be 4. So we can write the change in capital as follows. Investment less the depreciation cost and less the uh, capital dilution. The steady state Requirement is the change in capital is zero. I is just S times Y, the saving rate, times income or output. And we can replace Y with the production function, per worker production function. D is 0 0.1, and population growth or labor force growth in this model is 0 0.02. So plugging those, those values in plugging 0.2 in for S, and then the per worker production function in for Y. And now we're going to solve this equation for K. Simplifying and dividing through by 0 0.12. We get the following on the left-hand side, and dividing through by K to the 1 half power. And then squaring both sides the steady state level of capital per worker is 2.79. Okay, that's it. I'll stop here.